the World Voice Day. Every year on April 16, otolaryngologists, head and neck surgeons, and other voice health professionals worldwide join together to recognize World Voice Day. World Voice Day encourages men and women, young and old, to assess their vocal health and take action to improve or maintain good voice habits. The St. Luke's Medical Center Department of Ear, Nose, Throat, Head and Neck Surgery has celebrated World Voice Day yearly since its inception in early 2000. What are some causes of voice problems? Causes of vocal problems may include upper respiratory infections, inflammation caused by acid reflux, vocal misuse and abuse, vocal nodules or laryngeal papillomatosis, laryngeal cancer, neuromuscular diseases such as spasmodic dysphonia or vocal cord paralysis, and psychogenic conditions due to psychological trauma. Keep in mind that most voice problems are reversible and can be successfully treated when diagnosed early. How do you know when your voice is not healthy? Has your voice become hoarse? Hello. Have you lost your ability to hit high notes when singing? Does your voice suddenly sound deeper? Does your throat often feel strained? Has it become an effort to talk? Do you find yourself repeatedly clearing your throat? If you answer yes to any of these questions, you may be experiencing a voice problem. You should consult a doctor. The ENT is the physician and surgeon who specializes in diseases or disorders of the ears, nose, and throat. He or she can determine the underlying cause of your voice problem. The professional who can help you with improving the use of your voice and avoiding vocal abuse is a speech-language pathologist. How do we care for our voice? Do not misuse or abuse your voice. Do not smoke or if you can't give up, cut down. Do not talk above the noise at social or sports events. And do not talk or even whisper if you are losing your voice. Avoid answering by shouting when you're upset or anxious. Avoid chemical irritants or dry, dusty conditions. And avoid eating a large meal before going to bed at night. Take care if you have to use the telephone for your living. And mind what you drink. Too much alcohol, coffee, tea, or cola will dry you up. Try not to clear your throat unnecessarily. And warm up your voice if you're going to use it for a long time. Try to have a humidifier in your workplace. Make sure you drink at least six to eight glasses of water each day. And make sure that if your voice sounds different for more than two weeks, you consult a doctor. Take note that spicy foods and dairy products may affect the voice. Also, hormonal changes such as menopause, pregnancy, or menstruation can affect voice quality. Additionally, the voice is closely linked with emotion, so tension or depression might show in your voice. The Voice Sinus Swallowing Center. The center specializes in the evaluation and treatment of patients with voice speech, laryngeal disorders, swallowing problems, and diseases of the nose and paranasal sinuses and oropharyngeal areas using state-of-the-art technology. One of the most modern and most fully equipped integrated units for the diagnosis, management, and rehabilitation of patients with upper aerodigestive tract disorders the center is equipped with digital video laryngeal stroboscopy with laryngeal microphone system and computerized speech laboratory to assess patients with voice ailments. It has a swallowing workstation unit with digital video recording system for the evaluation of patients with laryngeal pharyngeal reflux and other swallowing disorders. It also boasts of the most modern facilities for the diagnosis and management of nasal and paranasal problems. The center offers a comprehensive approach to the diagnosis and treatment of patients with voice problems. It is staffed by competent and internationally trained laryngologists, voice specialists, and speech pathologists. Its roster of consultants includes one of the few vocologists in the country who provides voice therapy for singers. Inviting you to a celebration of voices, Voice Night Out.